Hi, I am Dr. Goodmanson with a rapid derivation video intended for the readers of my book, General Aviation Aircraft Design, Applied Methods and Procedures. In this video, I will show how the hydrostatic pressure equation is derived. This equation serves as a basis for other expressions that allow us to estimate the pressure in liquids and gases. The hydrostatic equation, do not confuse it with the hydrostatic pressure equation, is given by this expression, where the inverted delta is called nabla and is a gradient operator that here transforms the scalar p into a gradient vector. All the parameters are defined as shown. In component form, this becomes For fluids at rest, the body acceleration vector is zero, thus this reduces to Therefore, for fluids at rest, we only have to consider the expression shown. This is the hydrostatic pressure equation. It constitutes an ordinary first-order differential equation, which is easily solved using the method of separation of variables. The equation is typically solved in two ways. One, for liquids, such as water, we treat the density rho as incompressible. This means it is a constant. Two, for gases, such as air, we treat rho as compressible. This means rho is a variable. Note that I have prepared two videos that show such solutions. These are called hydrostatic pressure in liquids and aerostatic pressure in the atmosphere. Also note example 14-1 in the second edition of my book, which treats a pressure problem that involves non-zero accelerations. Such an example can help those evaluating pressure loads in aircraft fuel tanks.